there. Well, we've all heard the warnings about the catastrophic effects smoking can have on our bodies, but for generations of Australians hooked on nicotine, breaking the habit can be close to impossible. Cricket legend Doug Walters, who for 50 years smoked well over a packet a day, thought his smokes would be with him until the day he died, until he tried a radical new treatment. Now, I don't want to tempt you, but when you smell that, do you miss it? No, I don't miss it, but I, I actually don't mind the, the smell of that, but it certainly doesn't make me feel like floating up. Well, what a great the cricket's Doug Waters, it is the ultimate test. Are you ever tempted to take it up again? Not since day four of uh, having the treatment. I, I, I don't very, very rarely even think about it when you smoke. After 50 cigarettes a day, for almost 50 years, Dougie has undergone a treatment. It's helped him go cold turkey and bowl the smokes for a duck. And he's not the only one. A dozen of my classmates have certainly been in, had the treatment, and not one of them smoke anymore. So this thing works? Absolutely works. And he's had a go and it's in through. It's a great shot. It's 100. A magnificent shot by Doug Walters to bring up his century. And my goodness, well played. You know, they were the days I used to dread when I found to catch an aeroplane even from Sydney to Perth. That was, that was uh, dreadful. But if I was going to England, oh, that was really hard work, I can, I can assure you. The cravings were a killer. Indeed, on those long flights to play the ponds, Dougie was dreaming about ashes of a very different kind. It was the same, same when I was batting. I couldn't wait for the session to finish so I could go and have a smoke. At tea time, I'd fit four in. A chain smoker? Oh, absolutely, chain smoker. I was pretty bad. I mean, it'd be the first thing I do when I get out of bed and be the last thing I do before going back to bed. So I guess uh, I, was, uh, uh, I was a really heavy smoker, there's no doubt about that. Let his make a Dougie's chewing gum, and Gilmore's world and willow like an axe. What was it you enjoyed about having a smoke? Um, I can't answer that question, really. I, I don't know. Come on, Aussie, come on. Come on. Come on, Aussie, come on. Did you ever try to quit? No, I never tried to quit. Why not? Well, I just uh, hadn't got round to thinking about quitting. I mean, it was part of Doug Walters. Okay, so we just find the point. I went in to see how Jack Newton had quit. The guy said, you're here. He said, you might as well have the same treatment. And I said, uh, I, I don't really need to give them away. I, he said, have the treatment and find out. I said, does it hurt? He said, no, it don't hurt. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Right. How does this work? Uh, what we do is a treatment that uses a low-level laser to apply to traditional acupuncture points which then stimulates endorphin production to mask the pain of the craving while the body's flushing out all the nicotine. Michael Gregory from the Future Health Group, where the rubbish bin seems to say a packet about the results they're getting here. So 76% of our clients quit, and 70% of that, that number actually only need one treatment. The other 30% need two treatments. I'm lying there, and um, all I'm thinking about is I hope she hurry up and finish, finishes this so I can get downstairs and have a smoke. And I got down there and I thought, no, well, I don't feel like a smoke now. I got home and I, I still didn't feel like a smoke. Uh, I'll wait till tomorrow, I said. Well, I've waited 11 months now and I still don't feel like a smoke. It's amazing, isn't it? Well, I think it's great. So what's this thing? Uh -huh, that's only for my friends. Uh, Is it really? Yeah, Your price? Mine, mine's over here. Oh, under the tree. The one I used to uh, use, the dogs drink out of it these days. <laughs> that was full? Uh, it was always full of cigarettes, not water as it is now. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. My advice to others is, is to give the guy a call, go in and, and give, it a, give it a try because uh, uh, you've got nothing to lose but your smoker's cough, they say. And <laughs> I've certainly lost mine. And while Dougie and others seem to swear by the laser therapy, Quitline doesn't endorse it, saying there's not enough science to back it.